Most of the example websites in the designs gallery have a button bar or nav bar across the page, where each button is a fixed width. This is preferred by some designers. It gives a consistency to the layout. But what happens if you want a label that can't fit into the space provided? Enter a really long label and it overflows the button. But Web Designer has the concept of variable length buttons. Most example web pages have a button somewhere on them, labelled Stretch Button. When you type on these buttons, they stretch to accommodate your text. I could use this button to make a navbar, but instead I will pick one from the Buttons category of the Designs Gallery, where you will find many different stretch buttons. I'll show you how to make a row of buttons from stretchy buttons. I could choose any stretch button to build a bar, but I'm going to select a nav bar from the button category. This one called Round End Stretch Nav Bar. Just drag and drop to import it as usual. It asks if you want to colour match, which we do. The process of making a line of buttons is pretty much the same as shown in the first nav bar demo video. First, I'm going to delete the old buttons. Double click to select the button set and delete. If I zoom in a little, I like these buttons because the left and right end buttons are rounded. By the way, it's always better to reposition buttons at 100% zoom because everything moves by whole pixels. Or you can use the arrow keys, which moves objects by one pixel. But you can see this is simply three separate buttons, but they stretch as I type. So for this design, I want to copy the centre button as many times as I need buttons. I can copy and paste, but the quick way is to hold the right mouse button and drag. I don't have to position it accurately just yet. Go into the text tool, click and edit the labels. Now you can position it. Back in the selector tool, just drag it or nudge it with the arrow keys. So each button is positioned exactly against the previous button. And do the same again for each new button. Finally, just position the last button the same way. So now I have a beautiful set of custom buttons. Let's preview. And you can see the rollover effect. Because these are all tied to the theme colour, when I edit the theme one, all the graphics and the buttons change to match. I'll show you another attractive stretchy button design that works well on darker backgrounds. This is from the Orbit theme. Delete the existing buttons. Go into the button gallery and find a button called Inset 2 Stretch. Now drop it on the page. If I zoom in, what's good is that it gives an inset sunken effect into the background colour. If I edit the theme colour, of course it all matches. I'll just quickly copy and edit these buttons. Like this. Then nudge a little. As required. This is one design that works well with gaps between the buttons. Let's preview. A quick tip. If you want to see what the mouse over state of your buttons look like, you can just bring up the layer gallery here and turn on the mouse over layer like this. Finally, you might notice that I can't double click to select this row of buttons. This is because it's not a pre-built navbar. It's just me putting a series of buttons one beside the other. So to select all these buttons together, I either have to shift click on each, which adds to the selection, or I can marquee select in the selector tool by dragging around all of the objects I want to select, like this. Now I can drag them together. A word of caution. Don't ever group buttons as that will stop them working. However, you can soft group them, and now when you drag, they will all move together. 